hey guys welcome back to my channel um i have been gone for a little while it's been about a month i am still trying to stay consistent just a little update just life like honestly not so much like i got a new car um i sold my suv that i had i still try to keep stuff like personal so i don't like to give out like too information but i got a new car i love it um just been enjoying it just been enjoying the holidays thanksgiving just passed just been spending time with family and y'all know like life be life in and sometimes your projects and your content and the stuff that you like to do like your hobbies they kind of like get away from you during this time but i also just wanted to film this because i have like a little word for you guys i was thinking about it this morning on my way to work very plain and simple and in november i had y'all know that i'm big in my faith um a jesus believer follower over here hey i've been doing a november reading plan and it had about like six books that you would read and then you would finish the six books at the end of november and I started with Matthew, and then I think the end was Esther. And um, I only finished Matthew and John, and I remember at the beginning of the month, November, I was, like, so excited to do this reading plan, and just, like, so on fire. And I'm like, yeah, like, I'm gonna do this. Like, this is, like, it was a plan that I liked because it wasn't overwhelming. It wasn't like, okay, you need to read, like, 10 chapters in a day it was just like perfect for me it was doable and i felt it was just like the perfect amount of time for me personally to give to god during my day-to-day -day stuff during what i do um and today is december 2nd and i went back to it and i didn't finish it it really discouraged me and made me feel some type of way because i felt like I was disobedient to God and I felt like I wasn't disciplining myself and being disciplined in my relationship with my Heavenly Father. I told myself today I'm going to continue in the month of December to finish my reading plan. I got four books to finish. The Like I said in the beginning like the reading plan was very doable. It wasn't overwhelming so I have no excuse on like oh like it was just too long. My excuse was telling myself like I don't have time and then like the holidays. Now my main point is whatever you're doing, whatever is going on, don't let your walk, don't let your relationship with God um, deteriorate. Don't let it, don't let the things of this world and like the holidays and stuff, um, kind of let it like pass you by and you put it like you put your bible reading you put your relationship with god on a back burner like god don't want to be on a back burner you know so i was like i really let the holiday and just the busyness of day-to-day -day life um get to me and get to my relationship so i didn't get to tackle what i wanted to tackle that i was so eager to do in the beginning of the month and that also goes for my youtube like sometimes social media is a lot i'm not big on here by no means at all uh, maybe you have a little small small following um, I don't know for the people who still follow me in my inconsistence I love you guys that is y'all are some true supporters but y'all know with doing anything any hobby um, life be life in it it could get to you um, but specifically on the holiday and the business on your on your walk with God in your relationship and your specific like Bible reading plan or just being in prayer and having that prayer time with God every day, just find, you have to find some time. Like you cannot let time be a thief. You can't let time give you an excuse to be like, yeah, this is why I didn't spend time with God. And I do feel like it really hurts him because like I said, in the beginning of the month, I was like so on fire and not that I'm not on fire now, but you can see the level start to change and um i just let other things kind of get in the way and i put first put priority and you have to be obedient and be disciplined and have to put your relationship with god like first you know he's your first priority then comes the world i know they're 
there's like a lot of things that we think that is so much important um than god or spending time spending time in reading spending time in prayer or just in silence just being in the presence of him listening to worship music i feel like we find things that are so important or we put that above god and those need to come second and last like god needs to be the first one if you're really trying to grow that relationship and continue to grow it every day there are things that um you got to put last and you got to put second and it's really hard but i told myself like i wasn't gonna not finish this plan i was gonna continue this reading plan through december and be eager and want to finish it so i say that to say this be obedient be disciplined do not put god last i know in this day-to-day -day life it can be hard but don't let the holidays don't let the busyness of life in general pass you by and make time an excuse don't make time a thief and that's what the devil really wants he really wants us to be like and make it feel like it's not like it's not a big deal like oh yeah like we did not have time i did not have time today to do this i did not have time to read okay maybe you wanted to read like two chapters today and you're just sitting there with all this stuff to do like oh my god like i cannot do this like this is i'm not gonna have enough time then read a scripture or read a little chunk of that chapter and put where you left off. Um, don't be so overwhelmed by it, but try to get a word in, a daily word in, you know? And honestly, like if you're just reading a scripture and spending a little time in prayer each day, that takes about like five to 10 minutes. And all our other things take, take our whole day. So I'm sure you can't you can't sit in prayer for that time that you put aside then like cut it in like you know like cut it in half like maybe you said okay i'm gonna sit down for like 20 minutes 30 minutes and read my bible and then pray and then listen to worship music maybe cut that in half maybe do it like 10 minutes you know um you can still accomplish what you want but we we feel that time is a thief and the devil is a thief. The devil is a freaking destroyer. He's a liar. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And don't let him take that time away from you and your Lord and Savior. So, just want to say happy holidays. Um, keep that in mind. You know, Thanksgiving already passed. But keep that in mind when Christmas comes and New Year's comes and, you know, your family's here. Um... You know, just you have to be disciplined and obedient. And discipline is like prioritizing your time. Like, let's say your family's coming into town. But like I said, do you really want to get that word in, that daily word in? Um, find some time before they come. Like, ask what time they're come. They're gonna come, um, and try to schedule that before. You know, in all reality, like you're gonna have to work around your own schedule and put God first. But also when you do that and you seek the kingdom first and his righteousness, everything else will be added unto you. So everything else is gonna come, everything else is gonna get done and you're gonna feel better when it gets done, when you knew you put God first <clears throat> and put God as your priority instead of checking everything off your list and then be like, okay, I have this little time with God instead of putting him last maybe put him first and then you'll see how your day goes so I personally am going to finish my um reading plan for this month I am very excited and I just going to pray every day that I can finish it set aside time for my personal relationship with Jesus and I just hope that you guys take this and you run with it and you keep it in your heart and you don't let the things of this world kind of deter you away from what you really need to do which is put that relationship first with Jesus and then then the world because Jesus and the world does not mix so Jesus first and then you can do check off all your stuff that you need to do today so that being said 
I thank you guys for watching this video. If you want any other videos, comment down below. Um, I really want to start a series. I don't know what yet, but since it's like the holiday, I really want to start doing something. So if you have any ideas, um, comment down below. My social media is on here, my TikTok and my Instagram. So if you don't want to comment down below, DM me, add me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram and um just dm me any video ideas or any like series that you want me to start and i just pray that you guys have a blessed day a blessed week a blessed month it is december 2nd so i just hope that this month is all about blessings and family and just being grateful and thankful and not only being thankful on thanksgiving but all throughout the year all 365 days so you guys have a blessed one and i will see you guys soon Bye.